A replace the data rules? If the answer is no, why mass layoff and tech layoff are going to happen across the world and across the organizations? And recently, Microsoft has released one press note in which 40 different rules got impacted by the A. Is data rules also one among it? Have you seen what's happening in the tech lately? Big names are letting go thousands of employees. Microsoft cut over 15,000 jobs. Intel slashed more than 21,000 employees. And TCS recently dropped 12,000 rules just this year as AA take the center stage. Even big gains like Amazon aren't spread. It's hardly surprising that IT professionals and data aspirants everywhere are asking, is this the end of stable tech careers? With all that uncertainty, people keep asking, could AA actually replace data engineers? That's not just a rumor anymore. It's now a serious question for anyone working in data. And I'm here to break down what's really happening. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Hello, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone are doing great. I'm also doing good. In this video, we're gonna discuss about can AI replace the data engineering roles? This is a tough question and honestly, it's on everyone's mind. To answer it, I'll get my real world industry experience, the conversation that I had with my managers, business leaders, and the direct charts that I have done with the AI experts and data professionals and AI experts that I met in different conferences. I have gathered insights from all the sources and I'm here to break down what's really happening. Let's see, based on both industry reality and experts opinion, if AI can truly replace a data engineer and what you absolutely need to know for your tech career right now. Right? When I ask this question to your AI experts, they give me a simple answer. It's yes and no. What is yes? What is no? It is yes. Some of the roles will be replaced by the AI. Those are roles are released by the Microsoft tools. Those are various roles that involves some manual entry and there is a scope for automation. So if you are falling into such jobs, yes, it is yes for you. It will replace. And for the programmers and who do the codes in day-to-day -day life and can build the pipelines, data lakes, and taking care of the data lifecycle management and everything, for them, it's no. For them, A is not going to replace their role. Instead, A is going to help them to increase the productivity of their role because A cannot think like a human. It cannot solve by the unusual problems, right? So most of the people can say it, A can open a new door of opportunities. But no one can give you the clear answer, what are the new opportunities? It might be open. That was the answer that I have received from the AI experts. Let me put you into the simple example, how I can explain that how AI is going to help for the DE roles to grow in the career. Before I can jump into the story, I have a small reminder to you guys. I'm really keeping a lot of effort for these videos. I really need your support. Please do like, comment and add your feedback in the comment section below. And if you want to ask any other doubts or anything, please let me know in the comment section. Or if you want to contact me, I just given the, my contact details in the bio section. You can get it and you can contact me. And next, before we jumping into the story, I would also highlight one more thing. In the recent days, when the TCS has laid off 12,000 employees, they have clearly said that they haven't touched the employees who are in the four pillars. Those are working in the A, working in the data rooms, working in the security, cybersecurity, and working in the cloud areas. So if you are having the skill set among these four, you should not worry about it. So let me explain a simple story, okay? So Ravi is a data engineer and he is in China. And every day he moves data, cleans it, builds a pipeline, so apps and report work smoothly. He loves his job, but lately he hears people can say that he lose your job. A will take your job. And that worries him most. He attended to a party in one evening. To the party, Ravi's friend Priya also visit the same party with his new assistant called his A. Priya shows how AI can write the code in seconds and spot and fix simple data errors, generate part of the documentation as well. Ravi keep watching all the tasks that he has done by the AI with lightning fast and thinks, what about me? And Ravi asks the same question to Priya. Then Priya has replied that AI does some work but can't understand the business needs, cannot solve the unusual problems and cannot secure the data the way humans do. In other words, A is helpful guest, not a boss. So Priya gives Ravi a three magic tools to master in it. One is like Copilot, Copilot, the speed of writing the routine scripts. And second one is smart data pipelines, which is A enabled uh, version of the DB, something like DBT with A enabled, or Databricks with A enabled. And third one, context prompt, context prompts, clear instructions that make A can give you the right output. And DBT with A, they auto generate parts of the model. By learning this, Ravi can do more work in less time and focus on the important decisions. 
and Ravi has decided three simple steps to get success. One is like learn, second one, let go, third one, lead. Try one AI code help this week. Let it write some basic scripts, then review and improve them. And in the go, stop doing every small task by hand. Trust the AI to handle the routine parts of you can think bigger. Use human skills, understand the business needs, securing the data and designing smart architectures. Teach AI the right context so that it can help you, not confuse you. So Ravi has followed these three steps and over six months, he was in a position to build the complex AI powered data systems and he would be in a position to advise his company on AI governance. And due to this, he got promoted and he earns more because he offers both data engineering and AI expertise. Instead of fearing of AI, Ravi sees it as a next very big opportunity, a way to grow professionally and financially. So now it comes to Yata. So be like Ravi. Don't just get upright for the AI. Try to start learning towards AI. Try to use the AI in your day-to-day -day activities. Try to use it. Try to use and increase your productivity. And pick one AI tool, explore its features, and watch how quickly you your work transforms. Your journey from data engineer to AI data engineer begins now. I hope you got a clarity whether AI can replace the data engineers or not. Of course, it cannot replace the data engineer position. Rather, it can help you to increase the productivity. And in the future, you can see a data pipelines with RAG enabled in it, where you need to embed the models, update the embedded models, and also maintaining the life cycle of a model. And we can closely work with the ML team and can solve their business problem. So I can keep you at last one point to understand the data engineer roles, how data engineer roles can play a crucial role in the upcoming future. So to work in AA, we need the LLM. So to work this LLM, we need the data. So if you can give the accurate, standardized and quality data, your LLM also will work more accurately, can give you the more realistic answers, right? So to give that accurate, standardized, clean, structured data, we need the data engineers. Data engineers are the one preparing the data and improve the quality of the data. If you can improve the quality of the data by implementing the distributed systems, the larger data set, the LLM will work that accurate and that good. Right? So this is where you need to see the importance of data engineer roles. So I hope everyone got a clarity about this question. So this is the thing that I wanted to share all with you. If you like the content, please give a like. If you have any doubts or anything, please add it to the comment section below. And if you want to give a feedback, please do that in the comment section below. If you want to contact me, I given my contact details in the bio section. Please do contact me. Thanks. We'll meet in the next video.